Hi there, once again, welcome to my channel. My name is Timothy, and in this story, I'm going to show you how to create an amazing looking radio button. So, radio button allows, allows you to select at least one option, okay? At least to select one option. In this story, I'm going to show you how you can easily create one where you'll be able to select your favorite programming language. So, we have PHP, JavaScript, Java, and Python. So, these are programming languages, and then this short project is going to allow you to select one option remember if you're using a checkbox checkbox allows you to select more than one option but with radio button you can only select one option so i'm going to show you how you can go about this so without much ado let's jump straight to action remember to subscribe to this channel don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get alert anytime we upload a new content and remember to hit the like button and watch this try to the end in order not to miss any step i'm going to take in order to create this so let's jump straight into action and create this amazing radio button. So let's go and start working on that. I'm using VSC's code editor and you can also download that. It's free. You don't need to pay anything for it. So I have a folder on my desktop called Radio 1. I'm going to open that folder. I'll go to File and go to Open Folder. And I'll select that. I have Radio 1 over here. I'll just click and then open this. So this is a folder I'm going to work with in this particular tutorial okay so i have the folder your radio one i don't really have anything inside i don't have any file i'm going to create just two files my css file and then my ht click here and i'll say start or css so this is my first file and i'll go again and create my index dot html so these are exactly the two files i'm going to work with so i'm going to generate my html templates and then I'll move ahead and then start creating. So within my title over here, remember to get this, once you have CSS, VSC code editor, having this template or HTML generator is very easy to get. So remember to download VSC code and VSC code editor to speed up your programming, okay? So the title I'm going to say custom radio button so this is what i'm going to work on i'm going to link my css within my title okay so this is, so let me say link okay so this is my css i'll link it within the title and within the body i'm going to create a container okay first i'm going to create a division and that division i'm going to give it a class called container okay so i say class call this container okay so this is what i'm going to do and i'll go ahead and then give it a header let's say header four and let's say my okay select say select your favorite eh? favorite programming language okay so this is what we're going to do let's save this and see what we've done so far let's go to the browser and let me open this file this radio one this is what i'm working on open index and you can see the header showing up over select your favorite language we have everything within the container so we're going to center this and then we can work with it everything will be in the middle and we can proceed from there so i have my container i'm going to call this container within my style I'll call this container within my style here and before that i will select a star key star means i'm selecting everything and i'm going to first reset my browser format my browser by giving a margin of a margin zero and i'm going to give a pattern also zero okay so let me save this and let's reload and you see a bit of formatting over here you could see this and i'm adjusted a bit but we're going to position everything let's target that and position everything in the middle now before that i'll call the body and then give it a font star i'll give the body a font a font family sorry let's see a font family of i'm going to give a font family of area habitica and sans serif that's the fonts i'm going to use and I cannot target target my container. So this is a container I'm going to work with. 
I'm going to call this a class. So selecting a class, I'm going to say dot container dot container, and I'm going to give it a width of I'm going to give it a width of five hundred pesos. So that's what I'm going to do, and then the margin. I'm going to set the top top bottom to 150 150 pesos and the right and the left is going to be auto so this will automatically adjust it to the center so take note of that so let's go and then reload this in our browser and let's see what is going to happen so you can see select your favorite language everything has been aligned in the center for us now so we can start working on the other ones and see how this is going to be like so let's go ahead and then I give it a background color background give it a background color i'm going to give it a background let's select can select any background color of your choice and i'm also going to give border border radius okay before that i'm going to give it a I'm going to give it a ball. I'm going to give it a shadow, box shadow. I'm going to give it a box shadow. So with this box shadow, it's going to be the top is going to be two pixels. I'm going to give the top two pixels. I'm also going to give the bottom two pixels, and I'm going to give the left three pixels and then the right five pixels and all the, it's going to be gray the shadow is going to be gray let's see what we have let's see what we have so far okay so you can see there's something happening over here i'm going to give it a padding for now let me just give it some 20 pixels padding so that we can space in we can space everything and you have enough space around what we are working with Okay, let's go ahead and load this, and we now have a bit of space around this. So let's go ahead and then I'm going to my HTML, and over here I'll bring a horizontal rule, horizontal rule here, and we can now create a label. So let's first create our first label, and the first label is going to say, let's say, my radio. We we'll use any name, and then within my label here, I can go ahead and put in my first input, create my first radio button by say input, and I'm going to call this radio. And I'm going to explain certain things later on. And over here, I'm going to have my first programming language. So P, let me say my first programming language is PHP. Okay, so let's have this and save, and let's load this and see what we've done. Okay, so you can see what is happening so far. We have some amazing looking header and then we have our first selection of it. So you can select our first PHP then in that order. Okay, so let's go ahead and then do the same thing. We want to repeat the same thing for the rest. So notice what we have over here. It's just the same thing. But before that, let me copy this and just repeat. Let me just copy and paste this back because we're going to basically do the same thing and this now instead of the same my radio i'm going to say one just to change that name okay because i'm creating a new label and i'll explain why i'm doing that and i'm going to say this one should be java java okay so i'm going to save this and let me explain something over here that we can continue okay so we have this i want to break this to go to the bottom so i'll bring some break after the first label Bring some break. I'll bring some break here and then I'll save this. And okay, so I should be having this down here and we are good to go. I'm going to target my header and then center align it and then also add a bit of padding to it. Okay, so let me target my header. Remember, this H1 is in the container, so let's make it look very neat. So let's first call the container. And then we target the H4, okay, it's H4 rather, and you can see text align. 
Sys center. And we let's see applies a bit of padding around this. This five pixels padding. And we should be good to go. So we have this so we have this neatly aligned and we have we have to we have to apply a bit of padding as well to in order to space around the our radio button or our options that we need to select. So to add a padding, then the padding over here is too small for the container. So we're gonna make it 20 and this should be perfect enough. So 20 and when I reload this, you we'll see everything is not taking shape. Let me zoom in a bit so that you can see what is happening. So this is what we've achieved so far. We are basically going to do the same thing for the rest. And we need, I'm going to add two more programming languages. If you compare to the standard, what we are building, we have, we have four. So let's try and also make the same thing over here. So I'm going to come down here to my HTML. And I'm just going to copy this and basically i'm going to add another break here i'm going to add another break here and let me just copy this from here and paste them again i'm just going to change this to python python and i'll change this to let's say javascript okay okay so these are the programming languages we're going to work with or the person will be able to select. Okay, so now, right now the person can select all because we've not notice if I click on the labels or the options, I'm not able to check. I'm not able to select my, remember if I click on the labels, the radio buttons are not picking unless I click on the radio button. But we want in a case where you click on the label, the radio button should be automatically selected. And you realize that with this, I'm also able to select more than one option. And which should it be the case? So we want to work on this and then the user can only select one radio button. So in this case, we're going to give them a unique name. Okay. We're going to give them a name. So when you come down here, the radio button, what I need first is, I'm going to say, First, I'm going to give a value, and this value should be, this should be Python. I'm going to call this a Python, and then I'm going to give it a name. And they are all going to have the same name, because we are dealing with programming. So name, and then this, and this is going to work for us. And I'm going to copy this and paste it for the rest. So basically, we are doing the same thing for the rest, except that the names, the values will change. So this is going to be, called this Java call this so this is going to be php and this is going to be javascript okay so this is going to be javascript okay so let me save this and then let's see what is going to happen now if i reload this now i can only select one option because i've added a name I've added the value and now it's giving the option. I've stopped that issue now. I can only select one option at a go. Okay. We only need one option because we are using a radio button. So take note of that. And the last thing I'm going to talk about here is for us to be able to select the checkbox. We don't basically need to, for us to be able to click on the radio button, we don't basically need to click on the radio button itself. We should be able to click on the label and then the radio button should be automatically selected. Okay, so we will do that with ID. So we'll come down here and you notice with my first label, which is PHP, I'm going to give an ID to my radio button. And that ID is going to have the same name as my label for that particular programming language. So this is going to be radio and this tool is going to work as you can see. So I'm going to copy this for the rest. I'll come down here, give the same ID, but I'm gonna do modifications. So I'll call this one one my ID and I'll come down here. I'll call this two my ID and I have to change it over here. So you need to make sure that all correspond that way. And 
we are set and everything will be in perfect state okay so let me save this and let's see what we've done so far when we load this this time around notice if i click on the labels i'm able to select or i'm able to select a programming language so select your favorite programming language and i'm able to do that remember radio button allow you to select only one option remember to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get updates anytime we upload a new content so the last thing i'm going to do notice we have some some curves at the, at the edges so this is what we call we call them what radius okay border radius so i'm going to apply some border radius around this and i think we'll be done with this tutorial okay so the last thing i'm going to say is to target my container target my container and then give the radius so let's see border radius so my border radius is going to be around 10 pixels, and that is all when i load this notice i'm going to have some curve edges so this is how to add a border radius remember to subscribe to this channel don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get alert anytime we upload a new content so this is just a step by step which you can create an amazing looking radio button using just html and css i have more tutorial coming up so remember to share with friends and then invite friends to subscribe to this channel if you're ready to learn it this channel is basically for you so I can't be away on that day. Bye-bye.